So contrary to popular belief, the World Cup starts in like three weeks. Three weeks. The World Cup starts in three weeks and I, I don't know about you, but I, I, I feel nothing. I, I, as of right now, I feel nothing. The World Cup starts in three weeks. Now I was here thinking like, huh, I wonder when they're gonna release the World Cup songs. They have, three of them. Have you heard them? Probably not. Maybe you heard a little bit of one months ago. I don't know. But in today's video, we're going to go through the World Cup songs. Give it a listen. And let's see how, how we're feeling. We're feeling good. Good vibes. Good feelings. Anything. Let's begin. If you guys do enjoy, smash a like button. I guess. Like, I've heard a part of one. And I, 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 I'm, in, I'm already pissed off. Like, I'm already annoyed. Because I... You'll see. Okay? So, like the video. Appreciate it. And let's go. So, the first one here is called Light the Sky. This is actually on the official FIFA YouTube channel. Um, with how many views? It's been out for um, about two weeks now. 10 million views. Not bad. I I've not heard it anywhere once. Um, it's been out for like two weeks and I I've generally I've only heard of it now. Well, I've only had to search it up myself to actually go and find it. So, Light the Sky with Noah... These people. Um, so, let's give it a listen. Alright, let's go. So, I'm, I'm getting the vibe. I'm getting the vibe here. I can already sense where this is going, of um, what kind of song this may be. Because the point of a World Cup song is to kind of get the idea of um, the World Cup, like a football tournament. Um, so let's, let's hope we get that. Come on. If you feel like a star, then you feel like me, like a VIP. What's any of this got to do with the World Cup? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to just work out like a single verse of anything that has got something to do with football. This is the main problem that I find most is World Cup songs. It's not to do with football. It, it's just like a song that maybe has something to do with a big occasion or a VIP or something. But I don't get football tournament World Cup from this. This could just be a normal song. Chorus isn't bad. The, the chorus has a bit of a head bop to it. Like it's not the worst thing I've ever heard. It's it's got a bop to it. Decent melody, decent flow of it. Nice little like voices in the background as well. It could be much worse. Of course, as it's a Arabic World Cup as well. Of course, there'd be a bit of a, a sense of like a Arabic and a vibe. Maybe some words. Maybe you know, in that kind of way, which is completely fine. It's their World Cup, of course. So that makes sense. None of this has to do with football. I'm sorry. I, I, I think I already know what's going to happen. Like, this could just be a normal song in the charts. Like, I, 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 there's nothing here to do with football. It's not a World Cup song. Like, the, the closest thing I've heard is VIP. Which, that's not even football in itself, really, is it? I think this has definitely got a, kind of like a feminine, kind of like, you know, a feminine power kind of vibe to it. So for that reason alone, I don't, I don't really want to sh** on it. I don't because the kind of vibe of the song and the, what it's giving to me right now kind of feels like it is kind of like a feminine power because especially when it comes to the Qatari kind of like, you know, stick that they've got because of how they allegedly treat women over in Qatar. Um, I, I get it. I, I, I get kind of what they're going for here. It's not a World Cup song though. It is, it's, it's simply not. Like, it really isn't. It's got a decent flow on the chorus. The chorus has got a bit of a head bop to it, so for that reason alone. Out of 10, I mean, I'll never listen to it ever again. So, for that, I guess, three. The top comment is actually someone saying, We don't want hot ladies dancing. We want meaningful lyrics and performance and just like the waving flags. We don't want hot ladies dancing. We want perfect vibes and goosebumps. Yes, Akesh Pangeni. Yes, man. You know what's missing from this video? Football. <laughs> 
I, I kind of get it. Arbol featuring Azuna and Gims. An another World Cup song. It's got 28 million views. Okay, can this actually be about football? Okay. Come on. Give it to me. Come on. Do it to me. Do it to me. Come on. Ah, uh, it's not English. Okay. Um, I don't know what he's saying. So... It could be talk about football. The, the, the beat sounds good. Sounds like it's a little bit of a beat to it. So, you know, the beat sounds like it's promising. Um, I can only hope that it's about football. I, I, I mean, it looks more about football, I'll be honest. The, the actual music video looks about right. Good little kick beat to it. I like that. What's the chorus? Give me the chorus. Okay. 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 This is, I don't know what it's saying, but this has got more of a World Cup vibe to it. It's got much more of a kind of positive energy. I like it a bit more. This is French, right? I think I know languages. This is French, right? I hope it is, otherwise I'm going to look stupid. I like the chorus. I can definitely vibe with this. I can definitely vibe with this. I don't know what it's saying, but... That's not the important part. You, you, the languages don't really matter when it's a World Cup. It's all about the vibe that you get. And I, I get a positive vibe of this. Quite a recognisable hook to it, the chorus. I like the, the kind of vocal. It's a decent song. Solid song. I'll give it a... I'll give it like a, a six, seven, seven. I, I think, you know, the last one was pretty low standard. So I want to say this is a lot better. We've got The World Is Yours To Take, which is... By Lil Baby. I've got, and it's only got 1 million views. It's been out for like a couple of weeks now for Budweiser. So I've not got, I've not got faith here. Please, please don't destroy this. They're using the, the, they're using the backing track. Basically, it's the, it's the, every, it's the everybody wants to rule the world song, but it's just with little baby on top of it. Losers just lose while winners get worship. I can't hurt no somebody pass me a blood while the cold. I want. Fuck <laughs> off! Somebody, you know that is not in the lyrics. That is not in the lyrics. Somebody pass me a Budweiser. Somebody pass me a Budweiser. That's in the actual lyrics. I mean, I know that it's Budweiser. This is their song, their lyric video, I guess. The Budweiser anthem. But come on! Now, you may clearly can tell, um, I I'm not really a this kind of music kind of guy. The, the kind of auto-tune. Just shit. Um, it's not for me. I'm sorry. Maybe you may like it. And maybe just sometimes it can kind of flow well. Just not when it's like a sort of slower, sort of like backing track like this. I just don't think it matches it, really. And I guess this kind of feels like it's about football. You know, of something. So cool. I think it's about that time. It's getting closer. Whole lot of fingers for nothing, dog. I know one thing. Everybody, Everybody wants to rule the world. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's that... It sounds good. I, mean, I like the chorus. I mean, the chorus sounds right because, I, I, you know, I like the beat. The beat's good. That's because it's classic. Um, I don't know when this will be used. Like, I, 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 just, I, I don't know of a situation where this song will be, will be used. I like it though, but like I, I, when I listen to this, I just I, I can't think World Cup. This could just be another like decent song that he's got. It's not the worst song I've ever heard, but when it comes to auto tune, it could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. It's not one of the worst songs I've heard in my entire life. I just don't get World Cup. Like yeah, it's got like the chorus, "Wants to Rule the World." I like that. I just think they could have done so much better with this idea. The the the, the concept of the idea is there, but I just don't think they've. They, they, they pick the right person for it, or you could have him, but maybe it was someone else. Maybe have a two or three people in one. I don't know, bro. I just kind of think so much more could be put onto this. That kind of flows. That kind of flows. Okay, 248 pot hits different. Oh, <laughs> 
Shit, it's the end of the song. Okay, I, I like the vibe of it in terms of like the actual idea of it. I just think they could have done better in terms of, I don't even mind a little baby being on it. It's just kind of like, it's just him. So there's only so long you can listen to the autotune kind of voice until it just kind of numbs you. Like I can handle maybe 30 seconds of it, but I, I can't handle more than that. This is the main one, I believe, Higher Higher, which is like the official soundtrack from FIFA, like, Back in April. I think it's like the main song, okay? This is this is the big boy, I think. Okay, higher, higher, better together. Here we go. This one. Okay, good start. I vibrate. I vibrate. Honestly, I vibrate. Yeah, I think I do. I guess the question, am I getting like a football vibe with this? The chorus, yeah. I don't think there's too much said about football. But I guess neither did wave and flag. I guess it's all about kind of being together, about coming together, uh, showing your passion for your country, I guess. You know, wave and flag. Uh, you know what? Okay, okay. I think this is decent. I like that flow. I like that flow. It's actually quite nice. It, it hits you. It kind of... I don't, I don't think you can listen to that and not bob your head. I don't think you can. Like, I actually, I like it. I like it. That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. Like, of course, people, like, people always go about wave, waving flag, waka waka, all that stuff. And that's because of mainly nostalgia. Nostalgia is the main reason why people will never, like, oh, nothing will ever come to that. I and mean, that's because nostalgia is a part of it. There were also great songs, of course, but, like, you know, that's why people go on and on about it. But uh, that's the thing, I've not even heard this really at all since. So, can I imagine, can I imagine people blasting this in the same way as those two songs? I, I doubt it. Like, for a World Cup, like, for a World Cup song, you need, like, a positive vibe. You know, some sort of feeling of some occasion, World Cup, you know, people come together, showing passion, show, showing your colours, whatever else. You know, and and a very catchy chorus, a very catchy, you know, recognisable hook to it. And I think this song is by far the best one. I'll say this is definitely a solid 7-8. I'm going to say for 7-8. Um, I think these are the only four songs that I, I can see if I type up World Cup songs. Give me your thoughts on World Cup songs. There's definitely some weird ones in there. Um, and maybe there's some others I don't even know yet, but tell me your thoughts down below. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time.